And hello guys, welcome to Kev's Doodle Magic. As you can see me uh, here, I'm just looking through this book called The Art Book. And um, I think this is updated regularly, I don't know if it's every year, but I got it a couple of years ago um, from my wife's sister for Christmas. And uh, I have looked through it from time to time, but never like truly like, looked at it with, with the idea of getting any inspiration from it. But um, I thought I could try and challenge myself. Because typically I tend to just make all my drawings up as I go along. I thought I'd try and challenge myself and draw something, or loosely copy something that was in this book. And uh, it does contain every type of art really, like sculptures, uh, paintings, drawings, um, graffiti, some architectural stuff. But it is really, covers everything. And it is a good book. When you start looking like deeply at the pictures and, and reading the captions, you really can't get a lot from it and I think I will do this again because it turned out a lot better than I thought it would do um, so the plan was to try and do something I never normally do which is a uh, draw like a thing a real thing normally I just make everything up as I'm going and it, change, it can quite often chop and change and then near the end I'll turn it into something but maybe not not always but with this uh, I really don't like drawing people especially faces or hands because they're just really hard that's all I'm just like quite lazy and I uh, I don't really like learning new stuff, I'm quite stubborn, I'd rather just like plod, on, plod along and make mistakes as I go and and adjust it and you know just stick to my own thing but I thought it'd be good to try and learn something new so I attempted to draw this this picture called the flute player and uh, basically it's just a painting of a man playing the flute that's all but it does have two hands facing two different ways so I thought well that'd be good to try and try and practice that and then I thought I could try and use rather than like actually using paint myself I thought I would just get the most basic pen that I could which was a, a black rollerball pen which was just I think it was three for two pound from the works which is like a stationery shop it's the cheapest pen I could find really I thought I'd try and use this to my advantage and, and learn how to work with contrast a bit better so obviously I've got no colours to work with I have to just work with light and dark and shading and stuff and try and make it look similar enough without fully copying the picture on the left hand side because really I, I don't I've never enjoyed art for me personally where I have to just copy something I don't like just copying artwork or like when I used to do art in school uh, we just get given like an apple and be told to copy it or we'd be given an old painting of some of someone famous and we'd be told to copy it and I just never I never enjoyed it. I don't find it creative at all. But if you, if that's something you're into and you're really good at it, obviously it is an amazing skill. But um, it's not I just don't really enjoy that at all. I, I do like mostly to make things up as I'm going along. But having said that, I did really enjoy this. So maybe I might try like a, a landscape picture next or even just another another painting or something with a person in it or something. I don't normally do and maybe I will try and add some colour next time but of course I've done this I've done this picture rough I know it looks quite quite similar to the original picture but I mean the head's a bit small and the flute's a bit too long and stuff like that I mean I can pick out loads of problems with it but really I wanted to try and put my own little twist on it so I've done these like doodly like musical smoke things coming out of the end of the flute uh, and this was fun to draw actually, just drawing all these lines. I might draw, draw a picture just full of all these lines soon. And then I was struggling with ideas of what to put in the background behind the flute player because uh, a lot of the description of the painting itself goes on about how um, the majority of the picture is taken up on the left hand side and that's where the eye is drawn to and then the background is just this plain solid colour. and. Uh, and it talks about why the artist may or may not have chose to, to, to do this. So I needed to have like a blank colour in the background with just using a pen. So I went for these like straight line marks and kind of makes it look like it's etched on wood. And as you can see, as a fade from the left to the right, I obviously put less and less, progressively less and less ink on the page to make it look like dark, like it's fading dark to light. And yeah, and I say, I'm, I was quite, quite surprised at how how much I enjoy drawing this because I really don't like drawing people but yeah, say something I w think I will do again now, anyway guys I, I really hope <clears throat> that you enjoyed watching this drawing and um, 
I should have a lot more videos coming up in the future. Thanks for watching.